Here, it's Dave Duford again from Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. Today we're going to talk about the much discussed topic of what do you wear on appointments. So I come from uh, kind of a background where I always like to dress nice. You know, not suits kind of thing, but you know, business casual, which means slacks, button-down shirt, and yeah, a tie too. However, as I've gotten involved in this business of final expense, I've realized all that stuff doesn't really matter as much as I thought it did. So what do you wear when you're out in this field for final expense? How do you know what you wear is appropriate? Well, generally speaking, in the rules, well, the, the rules, quote unquote, you should try to dress one notch above your clientele. Okay, that doesn't mean you need to dress like, you know, a business executive. First, you got to understand who your clientele is. And if you've run enough final expense appointments, you know your clientele ain't in business executive, okay? If you know what I mean. Usually, they're just in uh, jeans and a t-shirt. So, when I got involved in the business, I started out wearing khakis, button-down shirts, polos, maybe something like this I'm wearing. But four years into it, I finally realized that I could wear jeans. Jeans, people, on business calls, sales calls. And I do fine. So, as I transition lanes here, check out what I got on. You can see, I've just got on a nice regular golf polo. Nothing too stylish. It is embroidered with the company that I work with because I like them. And it kind of gives me a little bit of credibility. And I also can check out my legs here and other things. And you can see I'm wearing jeans. Nothing fancy, just some old navy jeans. Um, you know, no holes or anything tacky like that. What a fashion statement that would be. That might actually be a couple notches above some of these people we see. <laughs> but anyways, in all seriousness, um, I mean, jeans and a polo. That's it. That's all I wear. I don't do anything else. You don't need to. That's my point. You know, you're going to be seen. The value you give somebody in this business, as far as your prospects goes, is dependent upon what you tell them and how you educate them on their options for final expense. And so my point is, is that dress means less in this business. Now, you do need to be put together. You shouldn't have your shirt hanging out, hand pants around your butt. You know, you should look, you should try to look decent. But you don't have to be Mr. Suave either. I know I'm certainly not. And dressing like this hasn't made a, a dent in the quality of sales and business I've conducted since I've made the transition. So... Lighten up about the dress, guys. Just put on some clothes that look halfway decent. Tuck your shirt in. Don't look like a fool, though. But hey, get out there and talk to people because that's what we really should be concerned about is how are we going to see more people to sell more life insurance to. So that's Dave Duford here. Final Expense Agent Mentor logging off. FEAgentMentor.com. Thanks for joining me. I give you the uh, thumbs up. Oh, was it driving up? There it is. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.